Hot Damn. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the active life. We're gonna go around and vlog and have some fun. And hopefully vlogs like this inspire you to get fit and start living an active, healthy lifestyle. Let's go! What's up guys? Chris with the Body Damn Channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. So, in this video, we're gonna be doing a bunch of things. I'm gonna probably, you know, string this vlog around maybe two or three days. We're gonna get active. We're gonna do some fun stuff. We're gonna eat some healthy foods. We're gonna do some physique updates. We're gonna do a lot of fun stuff. It's gonna be a fun vlog, so hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Let's get started. Okay, so for the very first thing is the other night, maybe two nights ago, I weighed in at about 201.5 pounds at nighttime. So, one of the things that I wanna do in the peak of the summer is to get to around 190 at around 10% body fat. So, that's gonna be really hard to do. In order for me to get there, I'm going to need about 171 or 172 pounds of muscle on me. My training splits are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I do four days a week and I'm in the gym for about six hours a week. That's about it. But I do a lot of active stuff behind the scenes and I'm going to definitely show you those things through these vlogs. But yeah, around this time of the year, which is kind of close to the winter time, I basically bulk up just like most people do. And then the summertime, I get pretty lean and I get kind of shredded. And that's fun stuff too. I like it. I think it's good for the body to go through those kind of stages as long as you don't go crazy to one side, like super lean, 5%, no thanks, and super heavy, you know, 30% body fat, 20% body fat. Honestly, for me, it doesn't really interest me that much. But what does interest me is to be around 9 to 15% body fat year round. I feel good. I feel healthy. The most important thing is if you're not happy with the way that you're approaching your training and you're not happy with the way that you look, then it doesn't matter what program you're on, it's not gonna work. The first thing to do is get a physique update and to show you what I look like right now. And I think I'm around 14.5% body fat, something like that. In order for me to do that, I gotta get my wife. So let's find her. Hey babe. Huh? I need to do a physique update. Will you uh, help me out? Yeah. Oh, good. I haven't had a meal today. It's around 11.30. I went to the gym. I did a light push day and I'm around 201 pounds at nighttime. Like I said, my goal is to be around 190 in the summertime. So this is what it looks like right now. And I got off creatine like uh, two weeks ago. So let's see what it looks like. Ugh, having long hair sucks. All right, that's what I look like right now. You know, it probably looks decent and I could probably stay around here in the summertime, but um, this is with some flex, not too bad. Does it look pretty good? <laughs> All right, so it looks like wifey likes it. But yeah, you know, still pretty lean. I mean, most people would be like, most people probably would think I could deal with that kind of body. Honestly, when you get to like an expert level of training, you can kind of do things that, uh, you can kind of do things with your body that you didn't think you could do before. So I know I can get down about nine or 10% body fat safely and I'll be happy and I'll feel great. I could also be around 15%, 18%. I'd still feel happy, I'd feel great. And right now we're looking at probably like 14.5% and this is what I look like right now. I'm not the strongest individual in the world. I do pretty sustainable workouts. I do a lot of warm ups. And uh, on the other side of this vlog, what you'll see is I'm really active behind the scenes. And so I hope these vlogs will convey that and really inspire you guys to be confident and to change your lives around and uh, to just know that, you know, the important stuff in life really isn't the money and all that stuff. It's really just being happy with the way that you are. Because when you're happy, you can make others happy. And uh, I think that's really important. All right, so let's get to the first meal of the day, which is going to be um, some eggs and some other random stuff. And then maybe I'll get a, another snack in before I go riding today. And then we'll kind of take you through the day with us. So let's go. I've laid out basically what this first meal is gonna consist of. Avocado spray, so you can get away from that canola, crazy oil spray stuff. This is actually pretty healthy for you, even when it gets heated up. We have pasture raised eggs. I have two of them out here because there's only like one left in there. Um, these are from Vital Farm. Okay, dog stopped barking. So yeah, um, where was I? So yeah, we have these pasture raised eggs and they're from Vital Farms. You can get these at uh, Whole Foods and these are amazing. Pasture raised eggs are extremely healthy, higher in omega-3 fatty acids and they just taste totally different than normal eggs. So this is the way that I go now. A little bit more expensive of a route, but I definitely suggest it if you're in this fitness thing for a long haul, okay? So here we have organic Southwestern salsa. That'll be the main garnish after everything's done besides the salt and the pepper. And we have some refried black beans right here. I do have normal black beans. They're up here in the cupboard. And I like refried in a pinch when I have to get a fast meal. 
Otherwise, and the reason why I like refried a little bit better is because they're already mashed and everything like that. So when it comes down to a mastication standpoint, which is basically chewing your food properly, uh, refried black beans are just uh, they're just ready to go. They're like, you know, they're mushy, right? So instead of chewing a whole bunch, um, the refried black beans are basically already ready for you. Now you might be thinking like, doesn't have lard inside or isn't that like not healthy for you? Here we go. Ingredients, black beans, water, sea salt, spice, jalapeno, pepper. So this one came from Trader Joe's right there. So if you got one in your town, try to find these refried black beans, pretty good. As discussed before, we have salt and pepper right here. This comes from Costco, both of those things. And then paper plate gang, because I hate doing dishes. And then we have guacamole from last night. Just the leftover is what I'm gonna be putting on top of it, including probably another avocado. So let me get this stuff ready to go, and I'll show you the finished product. And oh yeah, totally forgot, organic Canadian bacon. So three of these slices is about eight grams of protein. So what I'm trying to do here is get to 1.2 to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight. And since I weigh 200 pounds, you know, this is gonna have to be somewhere around that maybe 240 range of protein, something like that, grams a day. So I have to be looking for all these ways to get protein into my diet without making like every meal just pure protein, you know what I'm saying? So um, this meal, if done correctly, should yield 60 grams or something like that. And while making my breakfast concoction, I will also be snacking on these roasted pumpkin seeds as well. A good serving of this will yield about eight grams of protein, super high in good, good fats for you. So yeah, I resort to seeds. I can't do nuts because I'm allergic to nuts, but seeds are equally as good. And uh, yeah, pumpkin seeds are my favorite. That comes from Costco as well. There's the finished product right there. See the beans, the salsa, we have an actual avocado in there, we have the guacamole right there, four eggs with the yolks, pasture raised, salt and pepper. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Also I'm making a conscious move a majority of the time to bypass ketchup and mess with salsa because usually ketchup has sugar or high fructose corn syrup, even the healthy ones. And so the reason why I like salsa is, and if you get good salsa, right, this is Salsa that will go bad in about a month. You can get it from Costco and it's really fresh, good salsa. Here are the ingredients about it. <clears throat> Here are the ingredients. Organic tomatoes, organic tomato juice, organic onions, organic jalapeno peppers, sea salt, organic vinegar, cilantro, organic grocery garlic, organic dried garlic, organic spices, organic lime juice, citric acid, organic dried chipotle chili peppers. There's no sugar in this, unless it's naturally occurring in whatever the ingredient is. But anyway, so I got into that. Over many days, many months, something as small as this will make a huge difference when it comes down to attaining my goal. And you know the good salsa when it usually comes in these type of containers instead of glass. This is plastic and it says, you know, use by or sell by 304. So right now it's the end of January. You can kind of tell that this thing is going to go bad, you know, relatively soon compared to other salsas. All right, time to eat up and get this down the hatch. All right, getting rigged up to do a mountain bike ride. Be meeting up with some people down there as well. Who knows what kind of riding we're going to find today because it just rained like two days ago, but it's going to be awesome and try some cool things and show you this one kind of jump trail. We're going to go find it. The ride, a little protein shake in here. Got some collagen peptides protein. This is basically non way. And it looks like I need to get some more at the store. Sunflower seeds in there as well. And that's what's going down. It's a beautiful day outside and uh, 64 degrees. Man, I might have to like not wear this thing. I don't know yet. Um, we're headed to a place called Brushy Creek. It's not too far from my house and it's a intermediate, eh, pretty much an intermediate slash expert trail system. A lot of fun. And uh, joining me today, we have my wife. Hello. There she is. She's all geared up. Should be a good day. So what are we riding? Uh, this is a stump jumper expert picked up off Craigslist. Really awesome bike, 29ers, running a 2.6 width tire. So it's a 29 inch rim, 2.6 width, which is a really good, happy kind of medium between the whole mid fat and standard size tires. Whitney's on her Juliana, 130 millimeter travel bike. This one right here is more of a 150 millimeter travel bike. This is what we use to get out to the trails and hit some of these obstacles and jumps and random stuff that are in this trail system. And so we'll take you for a ride. Um, the other gentleman should be here pretty soon. It's Will right there, he's gonna ride with us. Our other friend Dave's pulling up back there. 
All right, so Will's getting rigged up. We got my friend Dave. What's up, man? We ready to go? He basically rides the same bike as I do. Or should I say, I ride the same bike as Dave does. <laughs> All right, and Whitney's getting rigged up. So let's hit the trails. Let's go. Okay, I kind of like lightly flew off the trail. Just wiped out. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. It's just so... It's like so hard to see where the trail goes sometimes. Anyways, went flying off. Okay, back to normal. Hey, do you want to jump or anything? Oh, we'll just go down it. Okay. Okay, we gotta jump ahead. Okay. Are we gonna go down uh, left trail? Yeah. 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 Here we go. Whoa, man! Left snail all day. To the left. Whoa! Shoot. Whoa! Let's go, let's go! Nice work! Get it! I see it, I see it! Yeah. Woo! Look. Little pedal biter. Yeah. Alright, stay on. Wow, wetty. Little wet. There's guaranteed to be water here somewhere. Oh shoot. The question is, where is it? Probably down here somewhere. Whoa. Wow, water free. Huh, it's pretty tame. There you go. He goes to the right, right? Go for it, straight down. Go. Oh, yeah. There. Uh, That's definitely rolling. Yeah. This is rolling. That's not rolling. Pretty much go straight down now. Easy. Look at that. Boom. Killer. There you go. Nice. I'm gonna drop here. But this is the big drop. And this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Definitely gonna hit this one up. If you go right, you have to correct. And there's a tree, and then there's a stump remnant thing there. Right down the middle, keep real loose. The second you clear, yeah, just go right down the middle, straight down the middle. There's no real line, you have to make the line and it's gonna get bumpy just for like a fraction of a second. Yeah. Then you pull your brakes 50-50 as you get down there. All right, there goes Dave. Rolling in, woo, it gets bumpy. Go, get ready, attack mode, go. There she goes. Holy crap, first time she's ever done that. Go Whitney. Get it. Whoa. Dude, he almost hit that tree. Okay, get some initial speed here. Seat down. And sendy sendy. Oh, I don't know. Am I going? No, not yet. I'm just gonna look at it real quick. This is easy. It's a handlebar slapper right there around the corner. No. Okay, so here's like a quick crete you can actually see the bags of concrete used little drawbridge thing looking thing you ride this come around the corner all right so you come across the corner it's pretty wide and then you go right through here and then you hit the bridge yeah there's like literally a bag of concrete just sitting in here all right he's going hell yeah there he goes nice cleared it oh okay you got it yeah, that was close. You got it. She's got it. All right. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. I don't know how she pulled that off. Dude. I wish I hadn't seen that. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, Whitney almost like flew off. All right, I'm gonna go do it. Okay. You got it. Here we go. I'm not. I'm good. Oh my gosh. Kind of shows you the, the pitch that we're working with right here. We're actually pushing our bikes back up to the top so we can go find this jump on the way down. Oh, geez. Down here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh. Damn, that's sick. I want to do it again. Here comes Will. Nice. Oh, 
Okay, we're back at the house. Picked up some things from Costco, which I hope, I don't know if she put them all up already, but. Picked up some things from Costco that are really good as a snack, low calorie snack. We got some pickles right here. Got more of that salsa that you saw earlier. Got some gluten-free multi-grain bread right there. Mm -hmm. Got some organic turkey breast. Uh, some organic blueberries. Organic salad. And avocados, as you can see right there. Two more vegan proteins. So there we go. This is what I'm going with. It's $20 for a can. Pretty good. Vega. I really like this stuff a lot. And really proud of my wife for conquering those some of those obstacles she's never done before. So on video today, my video proved that she's done them. And uh, did any of those things feel weird? No, it was awesome. That's good. Except for that rickety bridge looking thing. Man, you almost busted your ass hardcore. I know, I Hard. So good but thing she- guess what? I didn't. I know, she didn't. And I'm really proud of her, so that's awesome. So usually what we do, it's 4.36, <laughs> getting close to basically the evening time. You know, sunsets around six o'clock. We'll get the dogs outside, have some fun. Maybe get on the skateboards a little bit. So let's continue the day. And I'm hungry right now, so I'm gonna have these uh, wild caught sardines. These are found at Costco, and here's the nutrition on the back. Pretty high in fat and really high in protein. One serving per container, 22 grams in here. Pretty awesome. It's olive oil as well. It's not any weird oil or anything like that. So this is in pure olive oil. Look at those omega-3 fatty acids right there. Man, this is good stuff. So I'm gonna put that with some butter some nut squash that I had from last night. Maybe some other random things and get that chowed down. I forgot a lot of things at Costco. I wish I'd got some beef jerky or something, but oh well. It's all good. All right, kind of a weird concoction going down right here. We have some pumpkin seeds and avocado, that butternut squash, those sardines. And to bring it all together, really to kind of make it taste better, we're gonna do with some balsamic vinegar like that. And that should taste pretty good. Extremely high in protein now. We're probably at about 31 grams of protein and uh, very rich in omega-3 fatty acids and the good fats from the avocado. Yeah, pretty pumped up about this little meal. And then uh, two hours from now, I'll get a little dinner going on. Pretty good. I'll put a little bit of stone ground mustard in there as well. You would never think this would taste good. <laughs> taste super good. So what did you get, babe? Something just came in the mail. The dogs just barked their heads off. Something just came in the mail. I think I know what this is. And if we do everything right, we'll be able to use it this weekend. So I'm not 100% sure if it's what I'm thinking. But I think it is what I'm thinking. So, yep, I bought it used. This is a really hard to find color uh, colorway. This is called a Bell Super DH. It's a convertible downhill helmet for mountain biking. I found one, this is the, one of the rarest configurations, uh, the rarest color scheme you can get. It's called the Fast House color scheme. There are two Fast House schemes, and this is, I think, the better looking one. So, I'm about to look at this for the first time. It came in the actual box. It says it was used or barely used, so we got all the goodies with it. These are all the pads if I want to make it less crazy, uh, feeling all my cheeks and stuff. But this is the first time I'm going to be looking at this. Um, Really hard to find colorway, extremely hard to find. And uh, let's see what it looks like. It looks like it's in brand new condition. So this is the fast house. This looks like it's never been used. Like I'm not even kidding. I don't, the guy said that there were a couple scratches on it. I don't know what he's talking about. But yeah, this is an awesome downhill helmet. Uh, you know, if you could find one of these now, they're about 300 bucks. I paid 200 for this one. And it looks awesome so far. Convertible meaning that the chin bar right here, which protects your chin and your everything, is removable. So with these little clasps, you can remove the thing. It becomes a normal, just enduro, have fun helmet, you know? But when you want to get serious and you go on lifts and stuff, then it would need the chin bar. And a lot of downhill parks won't even allow you on it, on the park, if you don't have a full face helmet. And this is what's considered a full face actual downhill helmet. So anyways, um, this is supposed to be a large. I don't know if it's gonna fit. My hair is all crazy. Yeah, feels good. Feels really good, actually. Mm -hmm. Once I start sweating it and stuff, it's gonna feel a lot better because the pads start going together more. But this is good protection. If I fall and I hit this and it's all clipped in correctly, it shouldn't shift and, uh, you know, protect the face. The money maker. <laughs> <laughs> you like it, babe? Yeah. It's a cool helmet, right? <clears throat> yeah. I waited out for this one. This was a really hard to find color scheme. I mean, super hard. Uh, mine's pretty cool too. Yeah, yours is like mega awesome. <laughs> we'll show hers like sometime in the video too. But if we, everything goes right, then this weekend, Sunday, 
we should be going to a, not a downhill park, but a free ride specific park where you get to learn more about ledge drops and transfer jumps and all kinds of crazy stuff. So we're going to take you guys with us because it's all about that active lifestyle. And, uh, you know, if you're going to head in that direction, no matter which way you go, whether it be surfing or snowboarding or sometimes you're going to have to start spending up on the gear. And so, you know, it's not cheap, but it's way better than hospital bills if you think about it. I've just finished my meal. I'm going to be walking out, spending the evening out there with my dogs. Got this Stone Delicious IPA, which is basically a gluten-free beer. The best gluten-free, if you're into IPA, is the best one on the market. I don't think there's any better. I really don't. So I really put all my money into this one. Uh, it's just a great company. Been to Stone in San Diego, I want to say. Great place. Getting one of these on tap is so good. But uh, this is just A1 beer. Oh. It tastes so freaking good, it's ridiculous. All right, let's go outside. Let's see, do I uh, pick the checkered vans or uh, the checkered vans or the checkered vans? If you're down with the checkered vans, let me know. I love checkered vans, slip-ons. Best shoe ever, most comfortable, and you can skate in them. A1. Hey, Roxy. What's up, girl? All right, done with outside, all showered up from the ride and everything like that. This is what's going down for dinner tonight. We have some zucchini noodles with some salt, pepper, and some other random spices as a snack while I wait for the food. We got some pumpkin seeds. And then we have some uh, grass-fed beef meatballs that are chilling in there. Extremely healthy, grass-fed, like I said. And um, they have like, for each serving, it's only like three grams of sugar, which is good. Keep the fried foods down, keep the sugars low. You'll start to, you'll start to see your weight go down naturally, which is the way it is. So keep those sugars low until you get the physique and the body that you're looking for. And then you can start playing around with that kind of stuff if you want to, but it really has no true benefits for you unless it's naturally occurring sugars, such as in the fruits or something like that. Looks like the meatballs are all up in there. Got those meatballs from Costco today. Also got that zucchini noodle thing from Costco as well. Today's dinner, and we'll have extras, will only cost us about $16. That's pretty good when you have another meal tomorrow with what you bought. So, you know, think about it that way. You know, Whitney and I are eating for around eight bucks tonight, which is good. And it's a good dinner too. It's not some junky weird dinner. It's actually a good dinner. So we do things like this every now and then. Other times we just actually make our own food, like actually make the whole thing. But today we just decided to heat up some stuff that was already pre-cut and pretty much pre-done. We just had to spice it all up. Whoa, those look good. All right, so this is what we got going down. We got the meatballs. I think I have about six meatballs right here. Um, some pumpkin seeds. And it's all on top of a bed of that uh, zucchini. Noodles. It's all in the bed of the zucchini noodles, so pretty cool. And a little dash of Parmesan. But uh, this is probably serving number one. I might get another serving after this. My dog really wants some of this, look at that. You know you want some. We'll see what we get into later. So we're gonna eat, but we're also gonna watch this uh, single track sampler video right here. He's an avid mountain biker that's going around basically the USA in a van. Just mountain biking all these really cool places. There he is right there on the right, that's Alex. Through his videos on YouTube, I really feel as if, I've never met the guy, but I really feel as he, like as I really feel as if he'd be a really cool guy to hang out with. Plus, he narrates really well awesome mountain bike rides around the USA. If you're not a mountain biker out there, I would definitely suggest trying it out because it's one of the most fun things that you can do that's active based. It's really fun, and things are always changing, and you're really balancing, you know, the most amount of fun possible with the chance of getting hurt, right? But it's a lot of fun. I mean, that is just fun to most people. It's an adrenaline, adrenaline rush, it really is. But anyways, I want you guys to subscribe to this channel if you wanna kinda of see what mountain biking is all about. It's called the Single Track Sampler, right there. And we're gonna beam this up to the TV and watch the video. I myself why? <laughs> when this was accessible. I was wondering that too. Just... Oh, it's just like that. All right, it's officially the next day. It's early in the morning, it's about 6.30. I'm gonna go head to the coffee shop and actually work on some stuff. After that, we'll go to the gym. Should be a lot of fun. And from there, who knows? But uh, yeah, let's get let's get to work. 
So today in the gym, it's a pull day, so I'll be doing some back, I'll be doing some biceps and uh, hamstrings and stuff like that. So pull day today. At the coffee shop, I'm gonna work on something for my other business, but I'm also gonna be working on finalizing uh, this workout plan that is basically geared upon building a lot of muscle. And then the workout plan I'm gonna be building after that is gonna be the transition plan to getting super jack for the summer. About 10 minutes down the road, I'm here at Summer Moon Coffee. There seems to be like a million people in here already. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get some work done. This place is awesome. That freaking plugs are everywhere in this coffee shop. Look, if you're gonna build a coffee shop out there, make sure you put a lot of plugs for people with laptops. People like to do work, you know? Thanks. Done with the coffee shop at the gym. About to go blast a workout, so uh, let's get this done. You know, it's a cold day, so you're gonna definitely have to spend a little bit more time warming up, but uh, yeah, I think first thing on the uh, docket today is gonna be deadlifts and stuff, so we're gonna get some deadlifts, some weighted pull-ups, some weighted chin-ups, you know, pen lay rows, things like that. So you'll be finding some of these exercises in the whole workout plan in uh, the upcoming thing that I got going on, but outside of that, let's get in the gym. Let's get this workout going. Okay, I'm back at the house, done with the workout, and uh, shout out to some new friends that I met at the gym, Matt and Aaron. What's up guys? I hope you got some valuable information about the stuff that I talked to you guys about. But anyways, kind of summarize what I did today. Um, opened it up with deadlifts, and then I did a glute bridge kind of thing, and then I did weighted pull-ups. I did a pen lay row, or actually I did a pen lay row, then weighted pull-ups, then weighted chin-ups. And then um, I did barbell curls with an emphasis on the negative, AKA cheat curls. But anyways, it was nice to meet those two gentlemen and hopefully we'll be seeing them on the channel at some point. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna close out the vlog right here. I'm gonna go ride later on today and maybe I'll open up a weekend vlog for that. But I thank you guys for checking out to this channel. If this is the first time that you're here, make sure you subscribe. But if you like this content and you know, my only goal really is to just show you my lifestyle to divulge, um, you know, this information to you guys so you can get fit, you can get active and really turn your life around especially if you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like you just need something different to happen in your life maybe you just want that awesome body that's why i'm here so i'll see you guys on the other side take it easy till the next vlog goodbye